Hi friends, welcome to my channel. So this video is about search best practices. So how can we improve our uh, searches to consider few points uh, in mind. So first point is the time. So time is very efficient or crucial uh, filter in searches. So it is recommended that uh, you should specify lesser time for your search when you are running. You should not specify a larger time. It will take uh, more time to execute and it will take more resources. IO, IO operation will be more. So uh, take a lesser time. Uh, like if you uh, type for all time and you are searching for some index so uh, it will search for uh, that all time in your index so it is not recommended uh, for any of the search to run for all time okay so in ad hoc search it is uh, you can run but in in schedule search you should not run because uh, the searches can get skipped so in my this example uh, i do not have much data so it, it uh, finished earlier uh, is uh, finished very quickly so in uh, like in actual production environment you should not run it for all time generally uh, the admin uh, will disable this for all time and it, they, they keep it for lesser time uh, that will not impact the uh, system performance now this is all about time so uh, keep in mind that you uh, whenever you are performing any searches on on the search head so uh, keep a lesser time so and gradually you can increase it if you want to go uh, beyond your time so you uh, there, there is uh, means uh, beyond uh, time as in you want to uh, search it for uh, uh, more than 30 days or more than uh, uh, 60 days so you can play around with this these options so you can create a bunch of like one month every one month or every uh, seven days or and, and you can uh, shift the window uh, accordingly okay so also there is uh, one more thing you uh, you should specify uh, one or more index like is giving me the value from both of the both the index okay so you can yeah you can give mention one index or more than one index at the beginning of the uh, search and and it uh, it you need to keep in mind that uh, the index uh, the index field uh, always you need to uh, give it at the beginning of uh, the search it is recommended that you should give uh, Mm, the field index field at the starting of the search okay. so the next thing is uh, include as many search terms as possible search term as in uh, if you want to search uh, like for in uh, this term whole term info and lms uh, lms uh, task manager so if you give simply this one, let's see what, what happens. Simply this, it will include, include this and uh, whatever other parameters are there. So it will, will give the input for everything. If you specify one more term, so it will give this and, and also this, this and this. Okay, both of them. So it, it is like you are uh, creating your escape uh, to the point. Uh, the search you are creating to the point that it searches for uh, only for your data, not not the other data. Okay. So this one thing you can keep in mind. As many search time you can put like you can put a specific search term this as well so it will reduce uh, it will reduce this um, the amount which is fetching from the index okay so 
you can include that also this search term you like you need to uh, make this specific to your requirement that uh, you what you want to exactly uh, so uh, one thing you need to consider that in uh, as in splunk the inclusion is uh, better than the exclusion so inclusion uh, as in if you want to search for uh, so for example if you want to uh, search not successful not successful you want to search it or successful login not successful login currently there won't be any um, any incident in any event in in that but if you search it uh, indirectly this is uh, a failed login so when you search it it will search in entire index or it, 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 it will search for everything okay so if you search it currently there, there won't be anything okay N not instead of that remove not and search for failed okay so this will help so failed login or failed anything you, you can consider so instead of uh, exclusion use inclusion okay the next thing is filter as early as possible so so if you filter as early as possible and then apply uh, some statistics on that then then bunch of uh, the events bunch of event will be lesser like say i will like say 6494 events are there i will put uh, some count stats count okay so this this statistics will be applied on this or by so earlier you have seen uh, a number was huge now i i will put get and filter uh, filter and you can see the number has reduced so so this is how you can filter the the events and then apply the statistics to whatever you want like suppose you want some condition through where uh, and uh, where abc is greater than some value so now here you got a subset of uh, your entire event and then you have applied the statistics so uh, so this will be the, be uh, a best practice that you filter it first if you apply like suppose you have already done statistics now you have applied the entire applied the statistics on entire events and then you have putting you you are putting the conditions so this is inefficient you can say so uh, obviously this will run but but uh, it will take uh, much time than the earlier uh, earlier condition that you have filter the event earlier as possible okay the next thing is avoid using a wildcard at the beginning or the middle of the search search term like if you want to uh, search for fail so it can uh, include fail or something now this so it will search for entire index entire index uh, it will fetches the data in entire index and then apply apply this uh, this filter okay 
in this condition the result will be huge and it will impact the system now what happens when you put it in between in between that means that that if, if like sup suppose instead of fail some some application uh, some spelling will be there like f a i e e e l so that uh, that event also will get get uh, fetched from the index or or some other spellings or or something else it will get get it over there so the best way is apply the wildcard at the end of the search term so this will give a perfect result for your search so here what it does is it fetches only the specific data and and apply the wildcard on, on that so the next thing is instead of using wildcard for a specific field if you know the 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 value of field then put or uh, instead of wildcard like say here if you put okay so this will give some value but like i have used a star under underscore star but if you know the index name this is the index name this will be more efficient than giving the underscore star okay so this will give a valuable uh, the correct information okay uh, rather we can say uh, the efficient information to your search now working with the uh, index like here in internal index what you can do is uh, provide an uh, index name and then uh, if you want to search for fail you can search it for fail or something else uh, successful successful if this some second is there it will come yes yeah, successful register or something so this is how you can search on an app uh, you can search it for source type so it's better you specify as many uh, field you know about like if you know the source type also you specify the source type and then you success successful yeah, in similar fashion you can include as many a uh, number of fields Now again, I as our, I have earlier mentioned uh, with the uh, index, you can you can provide uh, more than one index with or like this, and you can search for the data and whatever field next field. This is I am uh, taken it from the the field. If you know the field names, and directly you can put it over the, uh, there. Uh, the bracket okay so the first preference will be inside the bracket and then it will execute this one so it will filter for this okay also you can use a wildcard with the index but generally it is not recommended to use a wildcard with the with the index recommended to use a wildcard with the index instead at least a single value should be there uh, like this is also valid failed okay. so this will give you value but instead of that you specify one or more indexes it is recommended you need to, at least uh, there should be a one index 
one or more index should be there but it is better you mention one index not uh, the star or not the white wild card with any of the field if you know the field name then specify the field name or at least uh, you use initial of that field name and then put a wild card okay that will be the best way to uh, find uh, the indexes okay this is the best way to uh, uh, to make your search more efficient okay now how can you find uh, index how many index are there in your environment so if you know initial or anything about index so just tell you so so that it will come so once you you do this once you run this command there will be index field here so these many indexes are there which starts with underscore okay and any of them if you want to use audit internal index any any of the index if you want to use in your search you can directly use it okay but at least you should know a uh, initial or or any any uh, word about your index so you can put it uh, there give a wildcard and use it okay. let's summarize the uh, what what, uh, what we have learned till now so time is the most efficient uh, filter okay uh, specify one or more index values at the beginning of your search string so you need to specify uh, at the beginning of uh, you need to specify an index name in include as many search term as possible so this is the next one next is make your search term as specific as possible okay inclusion is generally better than exclusion the next one is filter as early as possible so as I explained, you you filter first and then apply any 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 of the statistics. Avoid using wildcard at the beginning or middle of a search. So if you use it at the start start or beginning of any search term, so it will pro uh, it will process all the data. First, it will process and give you the result. If you provide in middle uh, in between of a string, so it can give a a wrong value if you uh, use at the start uh, at the end of the uh, search term so it will give you a better result when possible use or instead of wildcard okay so uh, working with indexes you can work with any index like like uh, you just provide index equal to uh, index name and then then search term so that will be a very efficient uh, you can use uh, more than one indexes through or and then provide your next uh, field uh, in bra in brackets the precedent will be precedence will be higher so first execute that and then next uh, it will execute uh, the next search and then uh, how how can you find an index uh, from um, the data like you can use a wild uh, wild card. Uh, you need to know uh, at least uh, 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 alphabet from your uh, index. So I'll put a star and underscore star, and uh, uh, this is how you can get the uh, index name from the index field. Okay, this uh, the index field always be there in the uh, interesting field if you want you can want to make a selected field as well it will go up in the selected field so that's it uh, about the video and thanks for watching the video have a great day thank you